Getting justice for Sam is going to take more effort than it originally appeared. You didn't ante anticipate his killer being protected by a cult filled with giant unkillable bugs, but she is. You're going to have to get her. You're going to need to find a way around, or through, those bugs. After a taste of the, be of the belonging the Universal Brotherhood offered, the sordid offerings around the Seamstress's Union feel more like home than ever. Continue. I'm not particularly cool with those bugs, and I'm definitely not cool with Sam's sister. I hated her from the moment I saw her, so I'm really not into this. Um, yeah, what are we going to do? Hey, where's Cherry? Can I talk to Cherry quick? Uh, yeah, let's tell uh, Cherry Bomb. I'm swamped with customers. When she catches a glimpse of you, she gets up on her tiptoes to talk to you over their heads. Hey, we need to talk about Shane. Sure, what about Shane? Not good, Cherry. Good night. Tell it to me straight, Mac. I'm a Baron's girl. Shane's dead. Can't tell you anything else right now. It's too dangerous, but you should know. My God, Shane. She looks at her customers and down at the bar for a moment before finally composing her. Thanks for letting her know. Maybe we'll talk later. All right. Um. Oh, Johnny Clean said he'd flag you down for a minute. The minute I saw you. He's got someone who wants to talk to you. Sound a little freaked out about it. He's been waiting for you downstairs. Johnny Clean? Freaked out? I'll talk to him. Alright, what do we got? Hey, Coyote, what's up? You did good back there. Coyote's face is pale and her voice is low, shaky. What the hell was that back there, man? What the frag was that? Ah, uh, Universal Hood is all about belonging to a hive or something. Sam's sister is their leader. I didn't see it. There's no way I'd believe it. Giant, unkillable bugs. She shudders and shakes it off. Fine, whatever. I want that woman dead more now than ever. If you go after her again, think of me, okay? I'll be locked and loaded. Will do. Thanks, Coyote. I don't want to talk to John Bartlett. Well, maybe I should. Are you the... Yeah, you're the stupid merc guy. Captain Two Swords. Get out. Get out. Take you and your anime fucking glasses and your stupid haircut and suck it. I lost a good man today, and I'm not dealing with your shit. Hey, Mr. Johnson. Uh, Alright, the man tries you up over. Hey, little something. I'm always up for getting paid. All right, the job's a simple extraction. The people I represent are in question as far as talents of a scientist His name's Sada. Unfortunately, Mr. Sada is currently engaged with Benraku, which means he's engaged for life. That doesn't sit well with some people I represent. They wanted us a subversion of the free market. Oh, uh, okay. Exactly, but it has to be now. Benraku's shipping Sada out of Seattle in the morning for some sort of overseas research project. Tonight, he's being kept at a hidden research facility out here in the Barrens, just a couple of miles from here. I hear they've been bringing in unmarked shipments for weeks now, and I think that nobody notices. We don't care about any of that. We just want Sada out of here before he's out of our reach. Uh, place should be lightly guarded. Probably in. Rent. Grab Sada. Get out. I'm authorized to remit nine thousand million in payment. He fixes you with a authorized man. All right, I'm in. Let's do it. Uh, lab's location over your PDA. Team and head there right away. Liberate Sada. Okay. Let's do it. Who is this? Where's Delilah? Bobby. What's up, Bobby? Hey, I remember you. Rainbenders? No. Let's see what you got, buddy. No, I don't need any of that. Alright. Where's Mr. Delilah? Let's talk to Johnny Clean real quick first. Oh, and everybody's down here. I could buy better guns. God bless it are the people with the better guns. Hey, TB Gooberman. Remember me? I don't know why I always walk around behind people. Yes, please, Mr. Gooberman. I want the best machine gun money can buy. for an Aries to sell uh, Alpha? Yeah, I do. Let me just sell some stuff or something.
Yeah, I don't need either of that. There. Alright, now give me my give me my fancy assault rifle. SMGs. I don't know an SMG. Um not a shotgun. Here, top of the line assault rifle. That's what I want. I don't want that either. Put this, take this out too, and then put the Ares Alpha in the first slot. There we go. Then what I really need, confirm, is to considering. Well, I don't really have enough money to hire any runners, but I should be okay. I'm gonna let's see. Let's hire some. Let's see what we can do with like five hundred dollars. Look at all my people I can't have. Dude, Temeril... Galloglass is alive! He made it out! Yeah! Alright, well, fuck all those people. I can't afford you. Um... Yep, let's do it. So, let's take a moment here while we're sitting here. Um... First of all, to read this blurb. You leave tourist field behind and you make your way into the Baron's proper. Exiting civilization as you know it. With each step, the little order that ex still exists falls away. Taken over by anarchy in its purest form. All semblance of government is an oversight, corporate domination, or even media influence disappears. Leaving an urban fertile landscape of bleak desolation. Yet hidden in this wreckage of a suburb, Renraku Computer Systems has a hidden some sort of R&D lab. Probably take advantage of some old tech left over after the Shiwa nuclear power plant meltdown. Or the crash that decimated the computer industry in 29. You find your way into the lab. The place has definitely seen better days. No security systems are online to greet you, and the ones only the ones made of meat. Maybe you can make help a scientist make a life change. All right. So, the the Johnson, Mr. Johnson, isn't a special character. Uh, Mr. Johnson is actually um, a name for any person who's sort of uh, been surgically altered to be charismatic and pretty and completely generic and completely ununique so often they're used to interact with people who are runners like me so that i can uh so they can basically contact us but if a johnson gets killed oh well it's not a big deal um not to the company at all they really don't care and so it's sort of um an insurance policy Buddy, I'm really sorry. You're gonna get your shit killed. Ready? 32 damage. Oh, this new gun. I like you so much. Hey, there's a guy with a gun. There's another guy with a gun. You know what I got for you guys? Suck my dick. You. Bam. Do this run on my own, boy. Reload. And let's run it. Huff it to the door. Doop -doo -doo. Oh shit, there's a guy right there. There's three guys. Ha uh, ha 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 ha. There. Okay, that really stings. Maybe this, maybe I am in trouble. No, I'm not in trouble. With how shitty these guys are at aiming. Alright, am I better off trying to like, just like, ice one of these guys? Probably the heavy gunner is probably the most dangerous. Yeah, and then I can aim and try to crit this guy. Yes, that went really well. Other than the fact that he's still alive. Do I, where are you guys going? Going to get rid. Oh, darn. That's okay. Still plenty good. Oh, he just ran in there to run. I don't know. Okay. But. This new gun is amazing. You know, you don't have to like Ares. But you sure as hell can use their guns to kill people. Alright. Move forward. Alright, there's another... 
thing. I'm wounded what? I'm wounded 15, it says? Yeah, that's fine. I'll just keep going. She liked a tang of what? Animal foul. Something wrong. Something bad. All right. Um, oh, there's a corporate mage. Peg him from all the way over here. Nice heal. Aim. I'll just stand here and peg you guys from across the room, if that's- Oh no, shotgun guy, shotgun guy. Okay, that stings a little bit. Alright, um, do you have enough for another one of these? Yes, we do. He is still up. I am shit low on ammo. Alright, come on, we can hit him, we can hit him. There we go. That's okay, I can handle that. I can handle getting beat up a little bit. No sweat, we're gonna reload. Our clip in his general direction. Nice. All right, let's heal up. Advanced. Yeah, let's do. Let's just use up a bunch of these basic med kits. I'm not gonna want to take these on the next run anyway. So that should be good enough. I don't want to waste all of them, so we'll just keep moving. Holy crap! Dinosaurs. You missed me? I'm right there. I'm right here. God, guy. Alright, reload. Are these things going to attack me? I, they, they're combat heads. They're, they're in combat, so I'm just going to shoot them. I really don't like this, but... There we go. Nice. No more bad guys. Scientist. Hey, Sada, what's up? Who are you? What are you doing? Say goodbye to Ren and Kaku. How do you know my name? As a technology, aren't you? I told them I wasn't interested in working with them. Well, whoever, think of it as a signing bonus. That's it? You're just gonna hand me over to them? Jesus, these people, listen to me, whoever you are. I know I'm a wage slave, I get it, but I shouldn't be a real slave, should I? They're doing is transmatting, planting me from one corp to another so I can be employee for life. Should I have something to say about it? Of course you have something to say about it. You can beat their price. How much are they paying you? 9000 I can't beat that. Renraku froze all my personal funds. I have 5000 to let me go and it's yours. Fine. Get out of here. 5000 is 5000 is 5000 That'll buy me. Honestly, Johnson's gonna be cared. Nah, I was gonna be pissed, but I really don't give a shit. Honestly, I don't have any loyalty to the corpse, and he didn't pay me enough to not fuck him over. Mr. Johnson. But your friend got away. I don't think so, but hey, no skin off my nose. People find him eventually. You wrecked the little free of charge. Hope it was worth it. Oh, it was worth it, buddy. It was worth it. Eat more karma, too. I'm going to be a killing machine when I come to the hit the last floor. Fucking undead bugs aren't going to know what's hit them. Look at this shit. All right. Quickness, range combat. Like, can we make our... Yep, look at this. Headshot. Pieces, chance of critical. Okay, we're only two away from maximum. Um, good enough for now. All right, let's head back downstairs and talk to Johnny. I, I should have... I literally just walked next door, shot up a lab, and came back. All right, where's where's Johnny clean? I hope Smitty isn't mad because I made him wait. But, hey, Johnny clean. What up, buddy? 
And he's hunched over his desk, idly filling with a cyberdeck. He seems preoccupied. He looks up when you approach, narrow his eyes. Been making friends out there? Could be. I just rescued a teenage elf girl from some evil cultists, he shakes his head. I'm not sure I want to know, but that's not what I'm talking about. Someone's been asking you about the, on the Shadowlands. He calls himself Baron Samidi. He's a pretty distinctive icon. Skull face with a top hat. Can't tell you what he wants, but this guy seems pretty serious. I wouldn't ignore this. If I were you, Deckers are... Deckers have a way of making people's life miserable if they're so inclined. Alright. That's enough talk. I need you to talk to the Baron. Alright, let me know when you're ready. Hit your ad in the Matrix again. I've already set up a portal to the Settlements. Ready, let's do this. Oh, crap. Johnny doesn't have any programs at all. Are we just... Are we not, are we not expecting a fight? Is that what's going on? Alright, whatever. We're doing it. Monsieur, mon ami, I'm pleased you can have a semi-private conversation. You have to be careful with tour guides like your friend Johnny, though. You can't trust everyone you see in the Matrix. Everyone on the Shadow Loans knows you're looking for me. Why the spam? Smitty so wishes to thank you for saving Mary Louise from the Universal Brotherhood. The girl is quite... precious. If harm were come to her, he does not know what he would do. I hate his third-person speech. He also offers you his help. Insects... the insects you encounter. There's something, no. Something dark. To ignore them would be folly. There's so much at stake. Samidi knows that you are after this woman, Jessica Watts, for your own reasons, and he can help you get to this woman and defeat her bugs. Hypothetically, how would we do that? The job is not, would not be simple, nor would it be straightforward, but Samidi can guarantee it would be dangerous. Telestrian Industries have been working for years in a formula codenamed Aegis. They're working with another corporation, a foreign corporation, to refine it. Their third attempt to get it right and I believe they have. Manufacturing started several months ago. Unfortunately, their manufacturing plant is in the Columbia Valley was recently blown up. Could have been corporate espionage or it could have been something else. This is unknown. What is known is that a large sample of the formula survived. Something that might be worth a lot of money. That is worth a great deal, Monami, a great deal. You see, it kills bugs. Big ones. Like the ones you saw at the Universal Brotherhood. You want to go back there against Watts, the woman of justice? You'll need Aegis. So what happens, Samidi knows where the last sample of Aegis is being kept. Hence the job at hand. We're going to break into Telestrian Industries' primary operations office complex here in Seattle. You just will be somewhere within that building. Find the Aegis sample, liberate it for ourselves. How do you know about this? Because media has personal connections into James Telestrian's affair. You see, he knows. You do this thing? Will you ally with Baron Smeedy? I'm in. Jessica will pay for what she's done. Revenge is a very motivating thing. Something Baron Smeedy knows about. Yes, he does. Alright, Smitty so suggests you bring a more experienced Decker with you, in case your skills are not up to the challenge. Forgive the Baron, he means no disrespect. For this mission, it must succeed. What? You're not coming with? Um, Smitty so will be part of this evening's events, but must remain remote. He must keep all Seattle law enforcement off-duty and Telestrian security away. Will you like to get the information we need from inside? Uh, how do I get inside? Handle that as well. We routed through the building with the right timing. Of course, Baron, even Baron Samidi cannot anticipate all possibilities, so tonight you must use your contacts, hire a team, and travel to the office complex. You will be contacted. I wonder if Johnny will come with me. Whistles along the whistle. Holy crap. Telestrian Industries. You've hit the big time, chum. If you need a second decker, you might as well take the best. That means you, right? Oh. Shit. So now, who owes me a favor? He goes by Dodger. You may have heard of him. He's one of the best deckers in Seattle, and that's me saying it. Get you this contact information, you know, by the way he talks. It's like he's in a damn Charles Dickens novel. Alright. Thanks, buddy. I would prefer if you were going with me, but I understand it. You're in retirement. Um, let's go. Hire some other men's. Does Coyote want to come? Yeah, I can hire Coyote. I can hire Dodger. Alright, um, I have $13,000. Alright, um. Oh, wait, Coyote's got a nice shotgun now. Coyote, you're coming with me? Dodger, you're coming with me? Look at our friend who just barely made it out of there. Or wait, there's Gallo Glass. All right, Gallo, you've never been very useful, but Mother Machine, that's cool. Um,
Plaza Nita Bomb. Wow, the other renters are getting really good. Are the elements. Okay, you know what? No, we're taking our buddy. Our good friend, Gallo Glass. Look at this guy. He's got everything you need. Alright, for $4,000, we can take it. Let's do it. Alright, since we're running on Telestrian, let's start a new episode. Um, yeah, I suppose we'll wrap up here for now. Um, I'll see you soon.